Why do we need to sleep? There, there, uh, first of all, there are no quick answers to that. There are several answers. Uh, one of the things that happens is we, we undergo deep sleep in the first third of the night. And a lot of glucose goes into our brains during that first third of the night. And there's very little dreaming during that time. And we dream about every 90 minutes, uh, but they get longer and longer. So towards the morning, we're actually, instead of dreaming for five minutes, we're dreaming for 30 minutes. The problem with dreaming is that we use up a lot of the glucose we took in in the first third of the night. We use it up in the last third of the night. So you wake up from a, from, a, from a dream having used up a lot of the glucose that you took in. So it's not a complete wash, but we still need to be able to replenish energy stores. And, but we do those in the first third. If you cut down the amount of sleep, then that first third becomes contracted and you get less and less restful sleep. You have to have deep sleep stage three and four or what used to be three and four so that you get that glucose into your brain. In fact, if you, if you start sleeping in a very disturbed environment, you don't get as much glucose. There are other theories also about sleep. Um, it's thought that during slow wave sleep, uh, which is the first third of the night and most of the, the, the time in those 90 minutes, we actually clear out all of the memories that we don't want. All of this stuff that we basically don't, re don't want to remember what we had for lunch, what we had for breakfast, what we put on, etc. We actually tend to clear that stuff out. There's another theory that during REM sleep, memories get consolidated. Okay? That is that the strong memories that we do want to remember become reinforced during dreaming and that you have these recurrent cycles of the episodes that occurred during the day that you want to remember at night. And so there's, there's some data that actually says that there is learning, uh, the consolidation during dreaming. Now, the problem with dreaming is that remember that, that, that while you're in slow wave sleep, so tonight you can watch your, your spouse, okay? So they're tossing and turning. That's slow wave sleep because they're still moving. The brain paralyzes you. It, it inhibits muscle tone while you're dreaming. It does not want you to act out your dreams. And Dr. Reddy can tell you about a disease that where you do act out your dreams. It's called REM sleep behavior disorder. So basically, your brain keeps you from acting out your dreams, plus it takes away the blood from your frontal lobes. So you're not exactly have all the oars in the water when you're dreaming, okay? Which is why you're flying around over your house and, you know, you never say, hey, you know, let's have a realistic dream. I can't fly. You never think of that. And that hyperfrontality, that lack of frontal lobe blood flow, that lack of critical judgment is involved during dreaming, which is why I'm not a real fan of dream interpretation, right? It, I, I'm not a great fan of Freud, but anyway. So that's basically two or three theories of why we sleep, and I think that there are, they are multiple. But the fact is that we, we, we basically are asleep for a third of our lives. So it's pretty important. 